What's up everyone and welcome to the club. In today's video we're creating a simple sketch illustration of Timon from The Lion King. Let's begin today's lesson by adding a couple guidelines in the center of our page. We start at the very top in the center. Start with a straight line coming all the way down using the side edge of our pencil. Now we don't want to go too dark because we'll eventually erase this out. Now we want to add another guideline going across from left to right. So let's start from the center of our page. Go out towards the left, and then the right side. Now you want to create a gap in between the eyes. So from that center line, move over towards the left, sketch a line coming all the way down towards the bottom, and then we'll extend that up towards the top. Let's take that same distance over on the right side and do the same thing. Now from here, we're going to block in the eyes. Let's start from this line on the left. It's going to draw an oval going up towards the top of the eye. And I just want to bring that down towards that center line and then bend that back up on the inside. Let's go over towards the right and do the same thing. Now for the placement of the pupils, we're going to go to the center of the oval, step in and then down, and sketch a small circle. Let's line that up on the right and do the same thing. From these two points, add a curve going up and then down. Now we're going to place the nose just underneath that curve. On the left side, we're going to go up and then bend that down towards the right. And then from the side of the nose, we're going to curve this down and then bend that in towards that center line and go up on the right. Now with the nose in place, we're going to move down and draw the top edge of the mouth. Let's we'll start on the left side. I'm just going to curve this down underneath the tip of the nose, go across and then up. Let's add a bracket on the corners of the mouth. Stepping in, curve across, and then down towards the side. Now you want to give the mouth a slight shift over towards the right. So let's start from this point. It's going to curve the mouth coming down. Just pull that over towards the line on the right. And then from the bottom, it's going to curve this out and then up. Just leaving a gap on the top edge of the mouth. Now we're going to add a guideline for the top row of the teeth. Starting on the left, go across, in towards the middle, then up on the right. Then we'll close off the end of the teeth with a straight line. Let's block in the bottom row, going across and then up. And we'll tuck the tongue in underneath the teeth with a short curve. Let's add that fold underneath the mouth. Starting from the center line, come across, and then bend that up. Now that we've blocked in the basic elements of the face, let's work our way around the cheeks. Starting underneath the left eye, start with a straight angle line going up and out. And do the same thing on the right. And then from the end, I'm just going to round out the cheek, and then just pull that in. And then from the bottom of the cheeks, we're going to curve the head coming in and then down. So start on the left. Bring this in. And then just bend that down just on the outside of that line. Let's go to the right and do the same thing. Coming in and then bending that down. Let's go back up to the top of the cheeks and draw the side of the head. From this point, curve in and then up on the side of the eye. Now you want to round out the top, going up, and then just bend that down on the inside of the eye. Let's close off the top of the head, starting on the left, I'm going to go up and then down. 
Now the ears are gonna come down just underneath the cheeks. Let's start on the left side, come down towards the bottom of the ear, and then bend that back up on the inside. Let's do the same thing on the right. Coming down towards the same height, and then back up. Now we're gonna go back up and add some fur across the top of the head. Let's start from the inside of the brow, curve this up and across towards the right. Taper that back down. I'm just gonna repeat this all the way across towards the right side. Now from the inside of the brow, I'm just gonna curve this in and then down towards that center line. Let's thicken up the brows. Starting from the outside, I'm just gonna bring this line just below the brow and then come in. And then doing the same thing on the right. And then we'll finish off the body with the shoulders. Starting from the base of the neck, curve this up, round up the shoulder, and then come down the side. Let's add that seam across the side of the cheeks. Starting from the corner of the mouth, going around, and then in towards the neck. Once we have the basic layout of our drawing, we're gonna go back and lightly erase some of these guidelines. Now that we have our clean drawing, we're gonna go in with the tip of our pencil and start adding some details and refining the shape. Let's start with the bottom of the left eye. Just gonna bring the eyes in a little bit closer in the middle. Just gonna bend this in. And bring that up towards the top of the eye. And then just work our way around the outside. I'm just gonna push the pupils in a little bit closer, just adjusting the location. Adding a small highlight circle on the top right, and it will fill in the bottom of the pupils. And now we're gonna move down and just readjust the shape of the nose. Bring it up a little bit higher along the top, Rounding out the ends and coming back in towards the center. I'm just going to add one more fold above. Now we're going to go back and just add some more shape to the mouth. Just going to bend this out on the sides. Adding that fold in the corners of the mouth. I'm just going to trace out the teeth. Go in and separate the teeth with one line coming down the middle and then two more lines on either side. Now from here we're just going to work our way around the cheeks. Starting underneath the eye. Working our way down towards the base of the neck. Now 
going to go up and start working our way around the brow. And add a slight point along the top of the brow. Bend this back in and then down on the inside. Now tracing the bottom edge of the brow. And we'll go up and start detailing out the fur. Let's extend the bottom of the neck, coming out towards the side of the body, and trace out the shoulders. Now that we've finished tracing out the contours of our drawing, it's time to add some tones and shadows. Let's use the side edge of our pencil and add a light shade across the bottom of the head. Starting on the left side, it's going to add a light even shade going all the way across. And we'll bring that down the neck. And we'll go back up and add a slightly darker shade along the top of the head. Starting on the left, just going to use a little bit more pressure going all the way around. And we'll apply that same pressure on the shoulders, adding that same tone. Now we're going to add a darker tone around the eyes. And go back and just darken that up a little bit more.
and it will add that same tone inside the ears. Now with full pressure, we're going to shade in the eyebrows. Just making this as dark as we can. And working our way around the outside of the ears. I'm going to go back up and add a medium shade to the hair, starting along the top edge. Now with the nose, we're just going to add a highlight across the top, just lightly shading this in, just a little strip going across. And then with full pressure, we'll shade the rest of the nose, going around that highlight. Now I'm going to darken up the back side of the mouth on the right. And then we'll shade in the tongue using the side edge of our pencil. Now we're going to go in and start adding some shadows across the bottom of the head. So with the side edge of our pencil, we're just going to lightly shade this in and then fade that out as we go up and just blend towards the side of the neck. some shadows on the side of the shoulders, blending that in. Now the lip's going to cast a slight shadow across the top edge of the teeth. And just go back and just refine our lines.
And as we get closer to the end of our drawing, we'll tighten up our shadows and add a little bit more details. And that's pretty much it. There's a sketch illustration of Timon. Now, if you're looking to improve your drawing skills, there's one more thing you need to do, and that's practicing on a regular basis. Now, you can do that by checking out this video over on the left or browsing our full playlist of sketch tutorials down here. I want to thank you for watching, and I'll see you again soon.